Thanks for staying with us. I'm Akshay Tandon. To an inspiring story now. A 73-year-old from Coburg, Ontario, has inspired people from around the world with a tale of transformation. Joan MacDonald went from weighing nearly 200 pounds to being featured on the covers of many fitness magazines for her incredible weight loss. This was after she was diagnosed with arthritis, underwent knee surgery, and even had a tumour removed from her abdomen. Joan credits her success to being trained by her daughter, Michelle, who is a physique transformation coach. For more, I'm joined by Joan in the studio and Michelle, who is joining us from Tulum, Mexico. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us on CDV News Channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, Thanks. so Joan, this has been an incredible story, a story of transformation about you over the years. Tell us a little more about it. Okay, where do I start? Okay. Um... I was very unhappy with myself uh, back in 2016 and that Christmas my daughter and her husband were um, visiting us for Christmas so she had seen how badly I was moving around and how I didn't like my picture taken and it's Christmas time mm -hmm. and um, I had been to the doctors and they wanted to put me on more medication and I didn't want any part of that. And so when she brought up the subject of um, joining her YHH uh, group, mm -hmm. uh, I thought, it, I told her I'd think it over and I did. And I thought, well, I've got to, I've got to start somewhere sometime. Mm -hmm. So I am going to give her a chance to see if she can transform me. And she did. And she did. Uh -huh. A very good job she's done with me. Um, it took a lot of patience on her part. <laughs> and uh, Dealing uh, with mom especially and not just I a know. client. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a different feel. Like now I feel like she's a mom, I'm the daughter type <laughs> okay. of thing. On that note, let's listen to what she has to say. Now, Michelle, you helped your mom on her fitness journey. How did it start and uh, how impressed are you with her progress? I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, I guess the word is. Um, mom has, uh, you know, I, I talk about her sometimes that she's, she's my, one of my best clients um, in that she's just been incredibly uh, consistent. And I think that that more than anything else, her her perseverance over the long haul has given her, you know, so many rewards. And, and even to this day, I mean, we can you, if you see her stories on her Instagram, you'll see how she continues to change. It's it's more than just losing weight at this point in time for the last probably year and a half now, because it's been about three years since she's had the weight off. She's actually been gaining muscle, um, and she doesn't do any hormone replacement therapy. Um, it's just just continuing with eating properly and training with good form and technique and intensity. And it's amazing to see somebody in their 70s putting on muscle, which kind of goes against what we're told. Right. But, you know, I was just looking at those videos closely. Oh, my God, those deadlifts, Joan. How did you even... Get that. That's incredible. You know, you said something which I want to talk about a little more. You said that there was a point where you didn't want to be photographed. It was an important family occasion like Christmas. So it's that's when it really struck you. So how much time has it taken since then for you to lose this additional weight? Um, I lost the first 45 in six months. And then from that point on, I've lost, I think, another 20 pounds. Yeah. It's 65, right? Yeah, yeah. so 20 pounds um, over a two-year period. Mm -hmm. And it's, I've changed the fat into muscle, I guess, because I can see the, the difference in my body, the right. shape of my body. And uh, yeah, I don't mind my picture being taken anymore. <laughs> That's I, fantastic. Yeah, That's I incredible. Love it. And yeah. you said about the change. I'm sure, Michelle, it's not just the physical change, but we're talking about a lot of other changes, you know, oh. mental change, emotional yeah. change, yeah. physical change. All of that also is a part of the training, Michelle. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah, well, in the, in the group, um, in the transformation group that my mom was part of, um, it's a six-month program, um, and it's a group of women. Uh, uh, and, I, and I created the group because I feel that um, that the more support um, these women have, uh, the more likely they are to succeed over the long term. And, and that's everything for me is about the long term, not the quick fix, the six week or eight week program. But but can I get these women 
to be successful with their habits um, over the long term and, and hopefully for the rest of their lives. Wow. And um, of course, right. a huge part of that is mind, you know, doing mindset work. Um, so one of the books that I have them read is actually by a fellow called Gay Hendricks. It's called The Big Leap. Um, it's a wonderful book um, that I recommend to everybody. Uh, and uh, so the woman worked through worked through that book. And, okay. Um, yeah, and then they share their story with each other and then encourage and help each other. Okay. All right. Uh, Joanne, I also understand you've got these kettles here for us. So you're going to be giving us some demonstration on some of the workouts or something that yeah. you do regularly? Just a... Um... A bicep curl. Okay, gonna, are you going to teach me? <laughs> sure. Okay, for that I'll have to you know, loosen up the buttons a little bit, you know. So there we yeah. go. Okay, so let's go. Okay. All right. Is that the right way? It's Ooh. not. It's not a, uh, this is heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not that light, okay? So, okay, let's go for it. It's not um, an easy one to do with kettlebells, but this is all the equipment and I have. You got it. <laughs> to make it more challenging for me. All right. So okay. tuck your um, elbow into your all right. hip. All right. Yeah. Keep it there. Mm-hmm. And draw your arm up slowly. Oh, flex that okay muscle. Then. <laughs> up. And then lower it slowly until it's right straight. Oh my God, look at that down. bicep curl over there. Wow, incredible. <laughs> That's the muscle you've been talking about. And how many of these do you do? Do you do this every day? Not every day, but uh, it's one of, the, one of the ones that I do during the week. Oh yeah. my God, wow, this is incredible. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to do more. I think I'm done for my work <laughs> <laughs> for the day, John. But wow. Okay. This is incredible. Thank you for that demonstration. And Michelle, quickly, last word to you. Your advice to seniors when it comes to fitness and health. Wow, that was incredible. I can feel the, you know, the, the energy rush, the blood rush. It's nice and warm and pumped up. Go ahead, Michelle. Sorry. Uh, I, I think it would be to, uh, to, just like my mom did, start off, um, start off, uh, you know, slowly, so three to four days a week, half hour to 40, 40 minutes. And if you can work with a, a trainer or a group of people, that would be ideal. And, mm -hmm. um, and just try to eat a more balanced diet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, try to eat regularly. Okay. So, so that would probably, that would probably be the biggest advice. And okay. go at your yeah. own pace. Go at your own pace. Quickly, John, last words for you for the generation. Quickly. Okay. Um, there's no reason why you can't get fit. This, yeah, get fit at any age. Mm -hmm. um, seeing as I did it when I <laughs> reached my 70s, um, and I, I, I do. I feel fantastic. Um, even if I was 25, that would it would I would feel fantastic. And on that note, thank you so much, Joanne and Michelle, for joining us uh, for this uh, wonderful, incredible story. We're going to be slipping into a short break. Our top stories are coming up next. But with that, a quick look at your fitness regime. Thanks for watching.